Hi, I'm Jamie Gow and I'm the Technical Marketing Engineer for the Cisco Unified Attendant Consoles. In this video I'm just going to take you through how to install the replication uh, if you're installing the Premium Edition solution. So you have replication of your configuration and login databases between your publisher and subscriber. So to start I'm just going to launch Internet Explorer and browse to my publisher server and then log in with my credentials. The default username and password is admin and Cisco. You may have changed these, so enter the relevant details for your system and click login. Once it's logged in, I'm just going to go up to the navigation links at the top right hand corner and select on Cisco Unified Replication and click go. That will then open a new page. And I'll then go and click on Replication Management. And on the left hand side here, you're going to see your server details. So you're going to see your publisher and subscriber. At the moment, my publisher is selected, and I'm going to go ahead and select to configure replication on my configuration database. That's the database that holds all of your configuration information. It's then going to ask me for my Windows username and password. That's for authenticating with the subscriber server. Now before you go ahead and do this you want to just go ahead and make sure that your two servers can communicate with each other via the host name. If they can't you should add the information into DNS or add an entry into your host file. And then the other thing that you should check is you need to make sure that the time on both the servers match each other. If they're a few minutes apart then you'll find once your application is installed and you're using the client software if there is a failover scenario the client will fail over to the subscriber correctly uh, but when it comes to reconnecting back to the publisher when it's back online uh, you'll get some issues so like I say make sure the time on the server uh, are set to the same so I'm just going to enter my username and password and then I'm just going to go ahead and click on install replication it's just going to give you this confirmation box, are you sure you want to install? Click on OK and that will start the process for installing it. Uh, you can watch the progress of this if you click on replication reports. And that will just pop open a new page, I'm just going to allow that pop up. always allow I'm just going to click on replication report again and that will open the new page and in here you can see the status of the resilience installation I can see here at the top the task is install publication on the configuration database and you can see the status is in progress so for the sake of the video I'm just going to pause this whilst that's going through it will take a few minutes to complete Okay, so it's been a few minutes and you can now see the status has changed to completed. So I'm just going to close that window. Uh, I'm going to click on back to replication management. And then I'm just going to repeat that process for the login database. And the login database is the database which contains all of your call history and is used for running reports. So again, I'm going to click on select. Once again, it's asking me for my username and password. Yes, remember the username from the previous entry, so I don't need to enter that again. Just type the password, install replication, and click OK. And then you'll see the information at the top saying that it's begun installation. Once the replication install process is initialized, again, you can look at the replication report. once that page opens again it's now at the top of the list installed in publication against the login database and is in progress so once again for the sake of the video I'm just going to pause the recording whilst that completes okay and you can now see in the status that that's changed to completed so again I'm just going to close that window click on back to replication management and I'm then going to need to select the subscriber server 
and then I'm just going to need to repeat the same process again for the configuration database and login database so click on select enter the password click install replication and OK to continue Again, once it's initialized, I can click on Replication Report to open the new window. And again, I can now see that's in progress. And once again, I'm just going to pause the video. And once again, you can see the status has changed to completed. I'm just going to close that window. Back to Replication Management. And then the last one that we need to do is just the Login Database. So again, click on Select enter your password, install replication, OK and then once again once that's initialized you can click on replication report to see the status of this last bit and again I'm just going to pause the video whilst this completes and then once again the status has changed to complete and that's now the install of replication completed